What's going on today, guys? Primal Sabbath here, and today we're going to be taking a look at my favorite of the Beast Machines, Dinobots. I am just a smidge biased here, though, and that's going to be Beast Machines, Dinobots, Rapticon. Now, Rapticon is a straight-up redeco of the Beast, Mach or the Beast Wars Transmetal 2 Dinobot. Obviously, that's where some of my bias comes into play. And uh, it's a pretty sweet redeco at that. I've always liked these colors on this figure. He's one of the more pricey of the Dinobots to uh, to track down. And as you can see, he does suffer from this kind of, you know, loose. I don't want to say loose, but uh, maybe, you know, where, like, from either from being packaged or stored, like, the tail was curled up like that. Like, it was pretty bad. I've already given it a dunk in some hot water, and it straightened out for the most part. What I did was I stuck some, uh, some, actually some toothpicks in between these kind of, like, uh, I guess bone pieces where the, the rubber band is in there, and, and I put it in some hot water, and, uh, it, it kind of sort of straightened it up, but as you can see, it's sort of kind of going back, so I probably need to do, uh, another, uh, another dunk, but this time I may actually get some popsicle sticks and run them along the outside and maybe run something in the middle just to kind of have some uh, interior and exterior support to straighten it up, and I may leave it in that hot water. Uh, I just boiled some water on a pot, poured it in a cup in a sink, and then had a cup of ice water kind of beside that, and I uh, put it in there for, I don't know, probably... Uh, 20 seconds maybe something like that and i probably should have left it in longer with just how bent it was but it actually like like before it would you couldn't even get it to to do that just because like, like this would have been straight but it was still all the way over here so there was no room to move but now it'll at least uh whip it back and forth uh other than that you know as you can tell he's he's just a dark blue and kind of green uh repaint of that dino bot um I like the chrome. The chrome is definitely more silver, um, but it's kind of like got got sort of a, a, maybe a lime green. Hue. Think of uh, that light green uh, Transmetal Rhinox. It's sort of kind of like that. And it could just be a lot of the, the green on the figure sort of reflecting on it, but I definitely feel like it's more silver and it's just my eyes playing the tricks on me of... Uh, of, of thinking it's kind of got a green hue to it because of all the green paint and, and whatever. But, uh, but yeah, so it's, it's, it's not black chrome because when we have seen that on, uh, the trans metal, the metals rather X nine ravage. So it's not quite that, but it does give the illusion of that as well, for sure. Uh, he does replace the Predacon, uh, spark crystal with a Dinobots spark crystal, which you can kind of see there. Yeah, there you go. You got the Triceratops uh, logo uh, looking thing. So yeah, pretty cool. Like I said, I dig this one. Uh, I dig it a lot. Mine has some flaws. Uh, as you can see, this this piece right here is kind of bent uh, in a strange way. I, I don't know. You know, maybe I can kind of work that back. But I know that rotating that up, it it really it catches something. It catches something here. Going back and forth both ways. It may just be um, somehow both of my Dinobots are supposed to click like that, and they don't. I don't know, but um, that, and it does it on both sides. So maybe it isn't uh, just limited to that. Maybe it's supposed to kind of be that stiff. I'm not sure, but it, it locks in a lot better than uh, the the bone color and the, uh, the cream color Transmetal 2 Dinobots, but it's the same exact figure, so uh, there, there really is no differences. It's just with, with any of these versions of this mold, you're going to have to stick that tail in some super hot water to get it to kind of straighten back out. Like I said, it's, it's a lot better than what it was, but you can see it's still wanting to, you know, kind of curve off to the side there. So anyways, let's get this thing into robot mode and we'll do some comparisons. All right, so here we have Rapticon transformed in his very menacing robot mode. I've always liked this robot mode. The big shoulder pads, the kind of spindly claw-like fingers. Again, I don't like the fact that he's got kind of the curling arm uh, elbow things where, like, I feel like maybe there should have been a swivel in here uh, so he could have kind of had this as a hand profile. Again, I've always kind of viewed this as like a thumb and these as like the, the regular fingers, but it's fine. I mean, it's very... Again, evocative of the original Dinobot mold, and I thought that was 
that was like really one of the cool things about Transmetal 2 Dinobot was how similar uh, transformation design and everything else was to uh, that original, uh, like the original, original Dinobot. So uh, as far as some improvements on this, which I think that maybe they did kind of uh, play with the tooling a little bit. Um, if you notice on my Transmetal 2 Dinobot review, neither of my Transmetal 2 Dinobots could utilize this peg very well. Like you would plug their uh, their little weapon in and it would just kind of fall right off this it goes on securely he can hold it uh why you would want him to do that because it makes him too top heavy i don't know but it can actually peg in and support so i think that's uh definitely an improvement over the original if you wanted him to to utilize this ridiculous thing you could have him utilize this ridiculous all right i'm gonna stop uh so I do, I do, man, I like that a lot. Ultimately, I do, uh, you know, store it back here on his back, like Dinobot. And it kind of does help with the balance. Um, I mean, obviously, if it's stored on his back, he's going to be a little bit back heavy. But, uh, but yeah, like, it, 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 it props him up just fine. It acts better if it's kind of straight back, um, at least in, in kind of just my experience, because my, my bone-colored one, I did actually manage to get it straightened back out. And, um, I know when it was kind of curled, it was, it was problematic, but he also had like the loose hips that I had to tighten up to so far, nothing loose on this guy. I got it used. I didn't open it brand new, but even like the ones in the package, uh, Dinobot or Rapticon, um, they're gonna, they're gonna have, uh, that kind of, uh, bent up tail syndrome, which is unfortunate, but anyways, kind of focusing in more on the deco. You know, that chrome may just be like straight up silver because the paint apps on the head here are silver. I feel to better match, but I really like that bright green on the eyes. Like it's even it's it's I'm guess it's a different shade actually than what's on this chrome here. Maybe it was the same paint application, but, you know, the green here probably faded because it went over chrome. Uh, but on that on those eyes man that just looks awesome something that's really cool about this character is that his like his stats and his bio basically made him like you know everyone's uh everyone's like fanfic character right like he's just overpowered super strong fast etc etc and he dies like in the first story uh the the first conflict that the beast machines dinobots got into in the uh the the wreckers uh, comics which is unfortunate man like i really wish like couldn't they have taken dinatron maybe i think that would have been cool but um other all uh, overall other all, overall i am i am really impressed with this again i would like to see if i can maybe straighten this back out like it's kind of it feels like it's got a lot of give to it i may it's it's held in by a pin you maybe can see there I may see if I can't work that pin out somehow. It's going to be tough. And maybe uh, try to straighten that back out somehow. It's not super noticeable, but it's enough to bother me. To where I can tell it's kind of not, you know what I mean? Or hell, I may just stick some super glue in there and give it a push and, and let that be the end of it. So, plenty of uh, fixable options here. I got this one, like I said, used. I uh, bought it from Transformer Land. Usually, I try to keep an eye on them whenever they do put stuff like this in stock because everyone on eBay was wanting, like, you know, 60 to 80 or more for this thing, and they had it up for 40 Now, whether or not they'll have it up for 40 again, who knows? They usually try to kind of go by whatever the, the standard market is uh, or what have you, but uh, that's just where I recommend to kind of start looking. But uh, in the meantime, uh, let's get him in here with a few of his allies. So there's a uh, not Saberback Striker, Dinobot Striker. Here is Dinotron. Two Dinobot mold uses and use usages uses uses. There we go. Move that up. Let's get a. Uh, let's get one of the flyers in here. Let's get Tyranitron. There we go. And Air Raptor. There we go. And not Guile Dart, but. Uh, uh, 
Triceradon. Goodness. I had all these names so well. Like, earlier. Not too bad. There's Magmatron. So, as you can see, it's a pretty, pretty big unit. Uh, I, I run into some display problems with these guys because they do all kind of command a lot of space. Which, I mean, I wouldn't expect anything less of the Dinobots. Uh, and truth be told, I would like have him kind of closer. But uh, either way, we got one more Beast Machines Dinobot figure left to review, and that's going to be the leader of the team, T Rex. So that's going to be coming next. Uh, barring any unforeseen circumstances. So if you guys have any questions or comments about Beast Machines Rapticon, please let me know. And don't forget to check out Stasis Lock every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Central Standard, Eastern Standard Time on this channel. And thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys later.